Hey guys, this week we're going to take a look at a feature that's in preview still, which is called Save Views. We'll take a look at that when we get right back. Hey guys, I'm Scott and welcome back to the channel. This week we're going to talk about Saved Views, and this feature is still in preview. It's not available for production yet. Um, it looks like they've been adding to it here for a little bit. It's been uh, in preview since about October, but you can turn it on and take a look at it. Um, it's a pretty neat feature. So what it allows you to do is uh, save views on your different grids. So think of your all customers, all purchase order grids, any of that kind of any of those type of grids. You can save the filters in different views and be able to select them, much like you can in, in the CR CRM. Um, so let's take a look at how to create those first. So we'll take a look at that right now. The feature we were looking at today, Save Views, has been in public preview since October 3rd of 2019. As you can see, they've done some stuff to it on, on each platform update. They've, they've made some different changes. But again, it is still in preview right now. But uh, I thought it was a really neat feature, so I thought I'd go ahead and show it to you. Um, so this is it actually needs to be enabled through Feature Management. So if we go into Feature Management, and I'm going to go to All here. And I'm just going to filter based on if it contains the word view. And this is the, the option that you need to turn on. Again, it's still in preview, so you can't run it in production yet um, when you turn that on. Okay. So let's take a look and see what that does. And I'll go to procurement sourcing. We'll go to all purchase orders. But this is available in a lot of the grids here, I'm noticing, when you turn this on. For example, all customers, generally the all screens, it, it has them. So when you first launch into it, it may have like a standard view or it may, may say my view. Um, I've seen it both ways, but um, right now I've got it set as default to the standard view. You can see there's the pin in it right there and it's going to launch into the standard view. All right, so let's say that we wanted to uh, create a view that's just for datum. So let's go ahead and just filter this down to datum here in the, in the, fil in the vendor name. So let's just say it begins with datum. Go apply that. And that'll filter down just to the datum um, vendor name. So what we can do now is we can save this as. So we're going to save as. And we'll give it a name. Datum. And we'll just say um, list of datum purchase orders. Okay. And we'll save that. Now we have that in there. So now if I use the drop down here, Contoso is one that I created earlier. So if I want to click on, did the same thing on Contoso. I just uh, created a uh, filter there where it begins with Contoso. Um, and then we have one here with Datum as well. And the other thing you can do is you can, you know, change columns here. So maybe, you know, maybe we don't want um, currency here. All right. So we can just save that. Under datum. So notice the currency is gone now, but let's see if let's go and flip it back to the Contoso and currency is back. So you can really customize these grids and make them whatever you want. Now, the other thing you can do is let me go back out of purchasing, I'll go back to the home page and then we'll go back into this. And so let's go back in there, Procurement sourcing all purchase orders. And again, it's going to default to that uh, standard view. So it's defaulting back to the standard view. But let's say I want it to default for me. I want it to default to the datum view. All right. So if I select datum, and then once I have datum loaded there, I can hit the little ellipse here, and then I can pin this as default. All right. So then let's go ahead and we'll go back out again. So I'm going to go back to the home page, and let's go back into all purchase orders. And now it's going to default to the datum. Okay. So the other thing you can do is if we hit the ellipse here, we'll get, we can go manage the views. And we can basically change the uh, delete from here or rename, et cetera, from, from this spot right here. Like we can remove, remove them here. Okay. And you can move this, change the order. Now you can't delete the or remove the, the standard ones like the the standard view where it has the locked, you can't can't really delete that there, but um, but you can your own personal ones. So these are personalizations, but you can publish these out. So let's take a look at how you can actually publish these views out. Once you've created your views, it's going to actually be a personalization, so only you are going to be able to see this view. But you do have the option to publish this view. So if we 
again, we're going to use the drop down here. And if I wanted to publish this datum view, I'd click on the three ellipse here and then click on publish. And then this lets me select um, roles that I can publish this to. So I can choose a role and then publish it um, to those people and then that view will show up for them. Okay, and I can set it to publish it as a default view. So personally, I can't wait for these to come out. It's gonna be incredibly handy to be able to create different views in these different grids to be able to see different information. That's gonna be really, really neat once, once those get, uh, get released for uh, general use and production, right? So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. And also I put out a video once, twice a week. So if you wanna get notified when I create a new video, go ahead and subscri subscribe um, to the channel and that way you'll get notified when I upload a new video, okay? So again, thanks for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later, bye.